part two, baby. Welcome back. These guys out here, they're yeah, pretty light. They're good enough. A little bit of grit came off of them, looks like. We're just off here and we'll go straight to Aqua Regia. Let's see what we got there. Mmm, the test. <laughs> yeah, it's uh, settled down, of course. Oh, nice and clear, too. It's got a few little insulators there remaining. So, yeah, let's filter this and drop this and see what we got out of five of those transistors. I'm pretty excited about that. And it'll be fun doing it with old Chuck Gentles' material, too. We're doing that real soon. All right, let's cook it. Let's cook in here. It's a little bit cold. Surprised it ain't showing up much darker. Yeah, maybe five of those guys ain't much gold. <laughs> Uh -huh. Have a little bit of sodium metabisulfate here. We'll add a little bit to this gold solution. See what we get. Yeah, not much gold in five of those bids. <laughs> it just goes to show you, you need a whole bucket full of them. As you can see, folks, I got it on the burner. Added some water, changed a little bit of color. You can see it's kind of a reddier color now. I don't see much gold there yet, but I'm gonna boil it for a little while and uh, see what we got. As you start to boil, we'll let it boil for a good while. Yeah, this guy uh, kicked off a little while ago. It's still warm, but I pulled it off the uh, hot plate. As you can see now, it's got a little gold in the bottom, right? Yeah, we'll dump that off here in another hour or so, let it settle. Then we can uh, give it a rinse and then weigh it and see what these things uh, got in them. That's right, baby. You got to do one and you got to do one by one and you do one by one, you got a piece, baby. Yeah, folks, that material off those transistors I had in here, after I filtered it and then dropped the gold the second time, uh, it had a tiny bit, but then I put in a little bit of... Uh, um, hydrochloric and uh, after cleaning it up there was so little it was virtually invisible <laughs> so five little transistors uh, produced so little that I couldn't even really I just dumped it into here that's it because it was so it was just like a Test here. Got these pins, which are brutally uh, pain in the butt to get out. Thinking about trying to use some different material, but this is some aqua regia down here, fairly strong. I'm just going to do this for a second. Take a look. See how long it takes for it to actually get the gold plating off of it. bring you back here when I have some success. Yeah, folks, what I did is I added uh, more hydrochloric out up to the 300, and then I added a little more nitric, you know, maybe about, I don't know, it looks like 10 or 15 milliliters more. Got a tiny bit of fumes creating, and I got that whole, uh, you know, connector pin in the uh, bottom there. It's been about a minute only. I'm gonna take a look at that thing. There it is. Oh, finally. Still got some gold plating on there. Okay, I'm gonna let it go a couple more minutes. Let's let it go about five more minutes and I'll take a look at that thing and see, you know, in a cool situation, it's kind of, uh, the solution's not hot at all, it's cool. 
you know, maybe uh, 90 degrees body temperature or whatever. But uh, I can pull off that plating, you know, say in five minutes of soaking and just pull it out and get rid of it because it'll have copper on it. But uh, I don't need to dissolve all that copper. It's expensive to do that. So anyway, kind of like Eco Gold X works, which I'm gonna maybe buy some of that and see how it works for this process because this is just uh, not economical, especially for the low quality material. Okay, folks, I can say the plate has come off on the pins. I'm spray it a little bit with water. And, but yeah, look at that, man. No gold in there. Baby prospector trip. Yeah, I'm cowarding out. <laughs> I know. I know. It's so easy to uh, to trim these guys off, right? Use these guys and just trim them off. You trim your finger if you're not careful. <laughs> anyway, uh, yeah, that is so easy. But processing all of the chips and or individual components like those transistors with the gold legs um it's a lot of work <laughs> so yeah i'm whistling out <laughs> i decided to just cut off the the good the goodie the goodies the good parts <laughs> and leave the other stuff temporarily again temporarily again Basically cutting them down one side like that. Obviously chucking the, the goods in there and nipping off the other side. Ah, oh, dang. Okay, fine. Fine. Get like a proper, a proper man should. <laughs> like that. Yeah, that's what I'm doing. Just cutting those dudes off. Yeah. It's a little bit of the wuss way, but. <laughs> I'm getting the gold no matter what. I got to put it with Chuck's stuff so we got some good Chuck Gentles gold. <laughs> Peace, baby. Anyway, I'm sawing these dudes off just like this, you know. I usually use my foot so I don't chop off too many of my fingers. Once you get it going like that, it works pretty good. These shears are really good and tough, so. They came with one of my deals that I bought at the auction, along with these cards. That's right. And you get the tool and the, uh, the appropriate gold all in the same auction box yeah so i'm just putting all the trimmed up ones over here and then of course uh it's a whole motherboard so why am i going to my computers i don't know maybe off this one i don't know anyway it's got some gold on there but we're gonna we're gonna save him over here for a little bit yeah i kind of wanted to wait until i had this stuff called uh eco goldex and I have it ordered, but it isn't here yet. It's supposed to come in the next few days, but I got tired of waiting. So uh, I'm doing some of the preliminary stuff on the video. And um, anyway, I'll probably do these with my conventional way that I've been using. However, the Eco Goldex is pretty cool stuff. You can take a, a card like this, you know, that has very, very limited gold. It's got some in the pins, right? Uh, it's got some inside these pins, I'm sure. Got a little bit here on this chip, which I popped this chip off for sure before I even did it. But uh, it's got gold in all these little CPU pins. And uh, what you could do with the Eco Gold X is you could just put a little bit inside a square bucket like this or something, uh, just enough to cover it, and drop that whole board in there, shake it around for about 20 seconds, and pull it out, and the gold's gone on every connector. That's what I'm hoping to do, because uh, to process these by removing the connectors and the pins and burning and blah 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 it's somewhat crazy <laughs> so i'm not going to do the crazy stuff over and over i'm going to do what i can with what i got i'm going to chop these guys off as we're going and then when i get my eco gold x then i'm going to process some of these other stuff that's a real pain because it creates so much debris and garbage and yeah 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 you got to try it a few times to know what i'm talking about no fun when you got a bunch of garbage in solution. You can feel it. You can hear it. 
You can hear how thick it is. Listen. Right? Right? How's this one? Right? Much thicker. Much thicker. Anyway, this is still a good one though. This is still better. I think a million, a million, just like this. A million, just like that. That'd be pretty good. You can't find them though, it's a problem. It's kind of hard to find, people know this stuff. Yeah, everybody wants to find the rich deposit, right? When you're prospecting and mining and whatnot. Nobody processes the crap, right? Everybody wants to process the best stuff there is, of course. It's our natural way. It's like, hey man, I'm gonna do all the great stuff last. I'm gonna do all the cheap stuff that causes us to go broke first. That sounds like a politician. Forget that. transistor. I'll take a million of those too. I'm throwing him in a good box. <laughs> you can see why how small these are, right? They add up of course. But uh in comparison to like these kind, right? At least twice as wide. Much more thick. At least probably three times as thick, maybe four times. Yeah, so one of these probably is, I'd say you need about probably five of these, maybe even 10 to equal one of these. You don't sputter on much gold at all in the new stuff. You know how to do it good now, which is bad for me, but good for them. <laughs> That's what that Golex will get right off there. It's got a bunch of little gold here, right, all over the place. A couple of wiggles in the Golex, and that should come right off. And that's stuff that I typically never get. I never usually get this kind of stuff because uh, it's such a pain in the butt. You know, if you get off these chips by burning it like I do, then this thing, it's all melted and anyway, it's a mess. Taking it just like this, getting the gold off it and then processing these chips, that's a whole new ball game there. That's a lot better. And that's what that gold X will hopefully do for me. Let's see if there's anything else in our bag of goodies here we got. So here's a couple gold pins. We got a gold pin box here. Other stuff here, a, uh, a calculator or something. Word finder. <laughs> that was what you used to use before the internet. <laughs> ah, our transistor. <laughs> that. That's how I want them, just like that, brand new. <laughs> Yeah, it's pretty good when they're goldy like that, right? That's easy to work with. There's another one. Alright, there's more here, there's more. 